In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the VVT solenoid valve on this Toyota Prius. Let's get into it. Using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen up this worm clamp. Loosen that up. Grab this hose. Slide it off. Disconnect the connector right here. Just push down on the tab. And slide it off. There's a retainer right here. You want to take that off. Just pop it open with a straight blade screwdriver. Slide the wire out. Using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen up this worm clamp down here. Good. In the back, there's two bolts. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take those out. Pull that out. Pull that one out. Grab the air box, wiggle it, and slide it out. Disconnect the connector and just push down on the tab. You might need a pick. Just get underneath the, the clip on the front. There we go. Disconnect that connector. Using a 10 millimeter socket, take this bolt out. Grab the solenoid. Just wiggle it back and forth a little bit. If you have to, you can use some pliers. Rock it back and forth and slide it out. Take a little bit of fresh engine oil and just put it on the valve. You can soak that end of the valve if you choose. Just get it on the valve and get some on the O-ring. Line the valve up, slide it in place, and push it all the way down. Take a 10 millimeter bolt, get that lined up. Get that started. It'll torque that to 66 inch pounds. Take the connector, line it up, lock it down. Take the air box, line that up. Push it down. Take the two bolts, get those started. Snug those down. Snug the worm clamp down. It's tight. It's good. Take the wiring harness and the connector, line that up, lock it down, close that, and line the snorkel up. And tighten that down. All right, make sure that's tight. You're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.